Right now in this city, so many of our brothers and sisters from the other side of the border have been directed here, not because folk believe in the power of Chicago as a sanctuary city, but because they believe that our Mexican brothers and sisters are disposable. They drop them here and then don't drop any resources. They place them here, but don't provide political protection. They drop them here and create a conversation in the news and in the media and all around the community that they are a burden. They're not the burden. They're not the problem. They are our family. We love you. We welcome you. We need you. We want you. We support you. We stand by you. We will be here until the end because you are our family. You are part of our beloved community. We love you like ourselves, the way that God loves us. Please understand that. Please understand that. But family, that means we got to be willing to do something about it. We got to be willing to sacrifice with our time, our talent, and our treasure. But we also got to be willing to stand up and fight the political powers of the day that make this normal. It's not enough to beat up on your local neighborhood Republican. The Republicans and the Democrats have dropped the ball on this issue. The black politicians and the white politicians have not supported our brothers and sisters. Everybody, it is a biracial, multinational coalition, rainbow coalition of irresponsibility and neglect. Yes, sir. So if we're gonna be courageous, don't just be courageous against the obvious enemy. Don't just tell the truth against your open enemy. Yes, sir. We got some other enemies that look like us and dress like us and appear like us, celebrate like us, party like us, worship like us, vote like us. We got to hold them accountable too because Jesus ain't have no picks.